Hello farm owners, agripreneurs and farm lovers. Welcome back to your favorite agricultural and agribusiness YouTube channel. Uh, on today's episode, I want to address uh, a common problem to hold planting farmers, people who have been planting, planting over the years. So one of the major problems they face is the problem of declining in uh, production. So it's a common problem with people who have established their farm over the years. Maybe this problem usually is common after five years. So when they set up their farm in the first, second, third year, the, five, the fifth year, they usually suffer or experience, start experiencing a decline in their production. So uh, on today's episode, I want to talk about this problem and how they can avoid it and how they can protect their farm from this kind of problem. So uh, one of the causes of this problem is the issue of congestion on your farm. Uh, so in the first year, when you set up your farm, you know, you have bumper harvest because the land is still fresh, everything is well laid out. But towards the third, fourth and fifth year, this problem arises. And most of the time, the reason for this problem is congestion, whereby you have the farm congested, a whole lot of hula balu going about on the farm. So the number one way out of this problem is thinning. And what we call thinning is the removal of plantain uh, suckers. So you should, it's something you should never allow to happen on your farm having more than two stand, as in two plants per stand. It's something you should never allow to happen because immediately you allow having more than two per stand, that place competition will set in. Not only competition for the plant nutrient, there will be competition for sun, there will be competition for water, there will be competition for everything. And the worst part of it is that shading will occur and the moment shading occur on your farm you are prone to disease you are prone to pest because there will be very very little penetration of sunlight and this your farm will be a complete mess so the number one thing you should be doing is that find a way to evacuate soccer on your farm and maintain at least at most two per stand so those suckers you have to sell them out if you don't have a plan for expansion so you have to sell them out to people and if you are finding it very difficult to sell out just reduce your price if others are selling it 115 naira, sell your own 15 naira, sell your own 100 naira. so these are the way just get rid of them you don't have a business keeping or jam packing a soccer more than two or three per stand. The number two thing you can do to prevent this kind of problem is constant manuring. I've said this thing over and over again. It's very, very important. Plantain are heavy feeders. They are not intermediate or low feeders. They take a whole lot of nutrients from the soil. And that is the reason why this problem persists in old plantation in plantation that have three four five years old because the soil is becoming weak and you are not replenishing you are not replacing the nutrient so it is very very important as you are taking harvest out you are taking plant nutrients you are taking this nutrient out of the soil so it is only understandable that the soil is becoming weak and the production is dropping so to guide against this problem, to guide against your production dropping, as you are harvesting, you apply manure every time. Every now and then you apply manure, give manure. And I recommend poultry manure, as in composted one, as in composted poultry manure. You apply manure every time. And lastly but not the least, you have to carry out what we call you practice no total harvesting. Uh, by no total harvesting, I mean 
okay in a stand now you have two plantain and one is ripe you cut it down you harvest the bunch the why the log is lying some of the uh, some of plantain farmer are of the habit of packing all these lodges they pack it out of the farm it's very bad those those plantain tree you just fell they also have something they can give back to the soil especially in terms of mulching all what you just need to do is to cut them into pieces and just gather them around the existing one they will give back some nutrients and also they will serve as mulch so these are the little way you can uh, you can solve the problem of declining productivity on your planting farm. With this, I've come to the end of today's topic and I hope you got value one way or the other. If you actually got value from this, this video, kindly give it a like, share with your friends and for further question for consultation, you can message me on WhatsApp on the number appearing on your screen. Thank you for your time and see you on my next video. Shishi.